You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Live fans, we need to talk about Patriots head coach Bill Belichick because it seems like he is in hot water with the NFL's chief medical officer. Now, we know that uh, Bill Belichick actually released Cam Newton. Cam Newton is a free agent. And there's been speculation that since Cam Newton never got the jab, he was released because of the jab. Now, Bill Belichick came out and said it did not play a role in his decision to release Cam Newton. OK, fine. It is what it is. You can believe what you want to believe on that. But however, Bill Belichick went one step further on comments about people who have been infected with the with the virus and their vaccine status. And so let's go ahead. Let's dive into this, because the chief medical officer to the NFL has pretty much called Bill Belichick a liar. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this, guys. NFL's chief medical officer pushes back on Bill Belichick's comments regarding vaccinations. Now, this is what Belichick said about um, the number of uh, people infected, I guess he's talking about on the Patriots, that actually have the jab versus that don't have the jab. Bill Belichick said, th said this, quote, you guys keep talking about that. And I would just point out that I don't know what the number is. And he's clear on that. He said he doesn't know what the number is. I mean, you guys can look it up. You have the access to a lot of information, but the number of players and coaches and staff members that have been infected by COVID in his training camp around the NFL who have been vaccinated is pretty high. He says that. So I wouldn't lose sight of that. We have other players on the team who aren't vaccinated, as I would say, probably does every other team in the league. We had minimal throughout the league. There have been there have been a number of quite a high number, I would say, of players who have had the virus who have been vaccinated. So the implication that vaccination solves every problem, I would say that has not been substantiated based on what's happened in training camp throughout the NFL this year. Close quote. Now, that is what Belichick said. And we know for a fact that uh, Mike Drabel, he actually got the jab. And guess what? He tested positive. And we know that just because you don't you don't um have the jab or you do have the jab, I should say, it doesn't mean that you can't catch the virus and spread the virus. It's clear as day. But I believe what triggered the chief medical officer is, is that Bill Belichick says that the amount of people that's been vaccinated and still got the virus was pretty high. So now I don't even know who the NFL's chief medical officer was. His name is Alan Seals, and he has come out. And he's pretty much put Bill Belichick on blast with his own own information that he wanted to put out there. He said, quote, we released our data last week from the first three weeks of August, and that data has consistently shown higher rates of infection in unvaccinated players than in vaccinated players. Seals told Judy Batista of NFL Media via Matt Vatour of MassLive.com, quote, that was true at intake when they first came in the training camp. And it was true during the first three week period of August that we release from a medical perspective, go to any major medical center in the country. And as you walk around those patient patients who are hospitalized, those who are in ICU, you see the evidence of the vaccines are working. Now, He's talking about going across the country. I'm talking about more the NFL here. These guys are world class athletes. OK, so it's highly unlikely that they would actually end up in ICU or the hospital here. I believe that he was freaking out because Bill Belichick said a high number of players who actually got the jab still got infected. You know, I mean, it's possible, you know. That could be the case. I don't know, but. The chief medical officer says, oh, no, that is not the case. Is he just trying to save face on this, trying to not, um, you know, promote fear out there of the vaccine? Could be. I mean, I don't really know for sure. But 
I found it interesting that he had to come out and basically say that Bill Belichick is a liar because we know this whole um, vaccine thing is completely political and NFL teams are doing whatever they can to make sure all their players actually get the jab. The NFL rules are set in place uh, to actually make your life a whole lot easier if you actually do go out there and get the jab. But uh, Seals um, admits that some vaccinated players are getting COVID, but he points out that the major reality that the anti-vax crowd chooses to ignore the vaccinated recovery recover much more quickly and are far less likely to, you know, die. Quote, we know the vaccines are working, Seals said. What we are seeing are some vaccinated people who test positive, but their illness tends to be very short and very mild. And that's exactly what the vaccines were designed to do. Let's all remember the vaccines were designed to prevent serious illness, hospitalizations and death. They're doing a terrific job so far, not only in the NFL, where we haven't seen any serious cases, but in society as a whole. Now, you haven't really seen any serious cases in in the NFL as far as the players go. Because these guys are world class athletes. OK, and this is Mike Florio um, who wrote this article here. And of course, he's agreeing with um, uh, the chief medical medical officer. I'm not giving an opinion on this. Uh, Bill Belichick. I mean, he's around his teammates every day. I mean, his players every day. So maybe he knows the Patriots a little bit better than the doctor. I don't know. I'm not giving any type of opinion on this, but I just want to kind of bring this to light here. That I found it interesting that the chief medical officer for the NFL would actually come out and pretty much call Bill Belichick a liar on this. So but you guys make up your own decision on this. Are you with Belichick or are you with um, uh, Seals? What's his name? Um, Seals, Dr. Seals. That's all I know. Chief medical officer for the NFL. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white live fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Live, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.